Thanksgiving edition of the Fish and Corn Show. Thanksgiving 2017. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you a question. You know, uh, I was watching this thing, this comedy thing on online. Uh-huh. And it's about this Filipino woman. And I've seen this because the fish is Filipino. But do Hispanic have these kind of weird idiosyncrasies? Like Filipinos will point with their lips. It's over there. <laughs> over there. Uh, you know that you know what I'm I talking know, about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> I never noticed that. But you're right. Yeah, the lumpia over there. <laughs> but yeah. I've never really stopped and thought about it. But yeah, everybody's got idiosyncrasies. You come on. But pointing with the lips—that's all fucking fresh off the boat. Really? Are right, you pointing with your lips? <laughs> you should go. You should I'll go to your work my, when you go to work. My, my chin or my. Yeah, nose. when you go to court, you should do point with. Judge, it's over there. Over there. <laughs> By the bailiff. <laughs> You're such an asshole. <laughs> There's all thing. what the fuck is this, you know? <laughs> oh, he's pointing with the lips. Bailiff, please bring, please bring the, the, meta, uh, the, what's that shit called, the evidence? <laughs> 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 but anyways, <laughs> I was just, it was kind of funny. I said, oh, that is, that's true, or they'll click. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I guess corn has a little special something. Oh, you were saying that you know about this this before. Wow. I had this beer the um, last year. It was pretty good. It's a Belgian... Um, Christmas beer? Abbey. No, it's an ale. It's a, a Belgian ale. Year-round? Um, yeah, you can find this year-round. But uh, I like it uh, almost as much as I like Delirium Tremens. But this is like... Seven bucks a bottle, whereas Delirium Tremens is like 13, 14 bucks a bottle. Yeah, I've seen Delirium Tremens. Have you ever seen those ones that are like special Tremens? Yeah. They're like $30 a yeah. fucking bottle. Yeah. yeah Have you, you don't get that. that? Yeah, but you don't get anything better than, I mean, in my opinion, it's, it's not that much different from that. You know, with all these beer things, you know what nitro is, beer on nitro, and they either put carbon, push it out with uh, CO2 or, um, actually, you keep that one for yourself, corn. Just a little touch here. Let me get this. Because I don't want to, you know, drink too much, you know. No, here. Oh, yeah. Do you like nitro beer? You know, it makes it taste like really foamy, I guess. Uh, I like regular beer. I don't like anything special to it. Just as it comes out. You know, the other beer I really like lately is the uh, Belching Beaver uh, Miso Honey. Miso honey, yeah. Oh, I love that stuff, dude. Have it you been to their excellent. brewery? They have two of them. I've been to two no, of them. No, I have not. One in OB and one in uh, 30th. <clears throat> but yeah, I've had miso OB honey. OB and 30th? OB and then 30th, North Park. How hipster. Very. <laughs> Very hipster. I mean, that, that, that's like, those two neighborhoods are, ugh. I mean, we OB talk too so much, much about that shit because... Well, the thing is, OB is weird. Uh, I like hanging out in OB because it's one of those places... I hung out there with the fish woman the other day. It was kind of fun. We went to the OB Playhouse the other day. With, You've been having with a lot of the OB. kids. <laughs> How was that? It was fun. I, I, I enjoyed it. And it's, you know, it's fun watching the kids uh, getting introduced to the idea of community theater and musical theater and that kind of shit. Cause Are they going to be thespians, you think? Nah, I doubt it. Uh, I mean, because we've maybe. always we've talked about this on the show about the thespian. wife is a thespian type, so she might they might end up in it. You know, I yeah. I, I'm not object. Mm. I don't object to it uh, on the amateur level. Knock yourself out, have fun, but mm, no, not as a career, not as a, not with the weenie waggers out there. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. They even exist in a stage too, because that's where homie was at. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, dude. I was all the weenie waggers. Yeah. Instead of getting a, I guess if you want a Tony award, you got to go with the Tony. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> that needs to be something. But they, that's the thing. So what do you think about that whole Roy Moore thing? The Reverend, I'm not the Reverend, but the Senator guy. The running? dude that's running for Senate in Alabama? I think I believe the women. Well, it doesn't matter whether you believe them, don't believe them. The, the whole story is kind of tawdry, isn't it? Well, the... The dude was the, in his 30s, dude, and no, he's no. creeping on little... What's funny is there girls. are some 
people saying that even if those allegations are true and proven, they'd still vote for the guy. I know, but that says more about those people than it says about the perv. Mm-hmm. I oh, mean, yeah. he's, he's a, you know, he's, he doesn't see anything wrong with, you know, chasing <laughs> young tail. Okay, that's fine. But, you know, everybody that's voting for him, they're basically condoning a man in his 30s chasing 14-year-old 14 14-year-old girls. I know. That's just wrong because the story does sound creepy. That's super creepy. He comes creepy, out and undresses the young girl <laughs> and then goes away and he comes back in his <laughs> whiteies. <clears throat> I don't know, man. I mean, it's, it, it's, whether it's true or not true, it's one of those things that you don't really want to associate with your state. And, you know, I understand how you know, it's innocent until proven guilty and all that other bullshit. But, yeah, but what do you do if you elect the motherfucker and the things turn out to be true? Well, then you just it. elected a fucking child molester. Well, we've because you who fucking, haven't yeah the that's office. The thing. I mean, he's a proven sexual predator. <laughs> he's a sexual predator he's and proven liar. And he's he's also creeped on little girls. He's, he's admitted creeped it. on little Miss girls. Teen USA or whatever the fuck. He's well, creeped he on little girls. That the, that tournament he has, <clears throat> Miss Universe or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was a basically his dating pool. That's just gross, dude. It's you know. Anyway, yeah. But anyways, no. I, this is good beer, corn, isn't it? Though it's nice color, not too sweet, not, not too, too soury, bitter, not too bitter, not too much hops, not too much anything. It's just a nice, even. But you gotta no, watch it. Out. It's like eight <clears throat> percent. This still count as beer. Nine point four percent. Or we into some other kind of... It's still beer in California, well, right? It's still beer, but, you know, you're getting into barley wine kind of territory with that kind of liquor. I mean, this is, alcohol content. This is really good because it's not too sweet. Yeah. Well, that's the thing about most uh, alcohol-heavy uh, ales and stuff is that they come off tasting sweet because that's how the alcohol comes across. Yeah, it comes yeah, a sweet note to it. But, but anyway... <laughs> So, uh, Thanksgiving, we're near it. You gonna make a, a bird? No, we're doing meatloaf. You're doing meatloaf? Not Because uh, I'm not a big turkey guy. You know what? <clears throat> if it were up to, up to me, we'd all go to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Are you open? Get, no, 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 that's no, what no. I'm saying. But that's what we'd get. Just uh, you know, a couple of uh, boxes full of strips and nuggets and uh, call it a day. I'm not really big on the whole, you know, let's make a massive feast kind of deal. I'm not into massive feast. You end up eating before. the same shit for the next week and a half. Yeah, and you're not down for That's exactly why we're not doing it. Because yeah. I told my mom that, you know, homegirl is, likes turkey, but just one meal. We don't need it for a week and a half. No. We don't need to boil the fucking carcass and make broth. No, you know, I, I give that to my dogs. You know, that's, yeah, it seems like you've got to do, you got to trick your way to get rid of the turkey unless you just straight trash it. Well, no, I mean, we, 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 we could freeze we it. We briefly contemplated doing a, a, a feeding, a homeless feeding uh, this weekend instead of doing uh, the, the turkey day, but my mom 86 that idea, so. But you uh, are going to have the dinner, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But Who's we're going to have it over at my sister's place. Who's going to be there? Your other uh, sisters? My other sisters, my brothers. Uh, Both brothers? Yeah. And family in tow? Yeah. Even the, yeah. the daughter? Yeah. Mm. So it's going to be kind of like a full house there. But at least we're hosting it at her place, so we don't have to clean up. I mean, we'll help out. Will it be a... But... It'll be a feast, won't it? Come on, dude. It's Thanksgiving with tons of people. Yeah. And everybody will over... Bring, you know, because you're supposed to bring a dish, so somebody's going to bring too much food. And too much food, then too much food, then too much food, then you've got three times too much food. You know what? Um, even at buffets, nowadays, I tend to just, even this is before the stomach issue, I've kind of lessened how I eat. I don't go smorgasbord. Mm. I like the right amount of food. <laughs> Nowadays, I don't go to buffets except for Sean's Incredible Pizza because the kids like to go there. But, but how many slices are you good for? I'm good for maybe three slices of pizza. 
But they're tinier than yeah, the little fucking wedge things. They're, they're not like you know. Oh, let me tell you something, corn. You know, in the corner right there, there's like a massage envy. There's a ta- street taco place uh-huh. when you make the left to go to a Plaza Bonita off of. Benito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that place. <clears throat> there's a New York place, the pizza place that's actually pretty good. Really? Yeah. I'm par with the shit up in uh, North, North Park? Park area. It right now it's beating Luigi's. Uh, Luigi's has gone downhill. Mm-hmm. I haven't been there in eons. Bronx is my our is our favorite now. Bronx Pizza, you know the one over yeah, Washington. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Did you go there a lot when you lived in? I used to go down there a lot. Cause you were you're blocks it was walking away. Walking distance, dude. I was about to say. Yeah. It's like walking from here to like, you know, the liquor store or the new uh, what's that place called that. That liquor store past the uh, the the school right here, the high school. Oh, um, Liberties. Yeah, <laughs> that's terrible pizza. Yeah, but it's about the same distance. Yeah, yeah. From your old from my apartment. old apartment back there. Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, that was a fun place to live, but it was crazy, dude. That's where I heard there were Princess Di died. <laughs> I was on a couch sleeping. I think I hung out with. Uh, homie is yeah breakfast before breakfast <laughs> yes and no one was like you know that guy could he could sleep forever don't you remember yeah this guy used to be a log yeah i do remember that he used to come up to santa barbara and just like we're up video games going uh-huh. clanging in the kitchen and he, he still played out just, of his dvds and shit yeah on the couch yeah. no one could sit down <laughs> exactly <laughs> it's like dude get up so we can sit down at least <laughs> still- you know what i mean yeah. He's one of those kind of yes. people. Like, sometimes I'd get up just to <laughs> give the space, you know? No, he'll take up the whole fucking... Ah, that's crazy. Oh, here we're at 11 minutes and 40 seconds, <sighs> Corn. Let's come back in uh, number two episode. <clears throat> the shit. Yeah, it's so... Uh, we got 10 seconds more of this, this uh, entry, but... Like I said... <laughs> Time Magazine's Voted Other Show is one of the most unknown things out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll just tell you something on this next episode. 